everyone, Miro here. Welcome back to Puzzle Pieces with Puzzle Agent 2. Uh, we are going to go look for the researcher at the campgrounds um, who had somebody go missing. And we're also kind of on the side looking for Daryl's brother, Daryl. Um, last episode we pretty much just returned to Scoggins and here we are. We're going to finish solving the mystery. That fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw, assuming this place ever thaws. Just perpetual snow forever. Get some gum. Nothing else. Oh, oop. That oh, that fire that's a new feature. Pause used to skip the dialogue. Now it pauses, or space used to skip. Excuse now it pauses. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Dr. Verstecht. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. I'm doing anthropological research here in Scoggins. I'm a student of mankind. I'm really glad he wants us to call him Alfred because I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing? Friend? Oh, yes, they must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. Very bright young man. Disappeared... Oh, when was that? Two months ago? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. I can get some more info. Is there anything else you can tell me about this missing grad student, Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. How do you mean? He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle of one of my discussions about the transformative power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. He just up and left in the middle of a conversation and the dude didn't think that was weird at all. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? Oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. Don't you get the sense that this is a town on the cusp of something big? Their folklore, their fascination with puzzles. It's as if the energy of thought is being transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. What, it, what exactly does that mean? How long have you been here in Scoggins? Well, let's see, about 15 years? I'm on my eighth government grant. Oh my lord. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, he's the archetype of the martyr. A ritual sacrifice made as an attempt to assert control over capricious nature. Wait a second. Davner is not a myth. He's a real person. I've met him. Myths are real, Agent Tethers. We're all characters playing roles. The hero in a quest for truth. The wise, mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. You must know something about the local stories, about gnomes? The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. Oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. I'd say. Batshit people. Thanks for your time, Alfred. If you hear any more about Isaac Davner or your missing friend, please let me know. I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. 
He was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bog. The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. What he said. <laughs> Good old ditto. That's great. Alright, I guess we go to the sheriff. I wonder if he'll be more helpful this time around. Looks like he's not home. I'm finally desperate enough to visit Sheriff Boggs' office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. Oh. I guess there's really nothing to look at. Okay. Diner it is. Daryl's disappearance has got to be tied into all of this somehow. It's a puzzle? Oh, yeah. Between the five generators, power all devices using every available power outlet. Generators will evenly split power if used twice. Each device must be powered exactly to their power needs. Oh, lordy. Do we just... Okay. So these are the devices and these are the generators. We have to power each device and they'll split it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, man. Give that one 30. That would divide it into 15 and fit. Wait. Hold on. I'm making a mess. No that and then that. That's 15 for that one. That's 15. 25 for that one. That would be another 25. That's too much. Can you get them to go away? Like that. Okay. Um, 50 is too much for that one. Just give that one 30. Can we, how far can we stretch these? Can we like... Can I really give this a go? Oh, I can. Okay. That's 35, though, so that's a weird... It's not gonna happen. Um, give that one another... Okay. And then... That one, 15? Mm, no. That one, 15. 25, five. Okay, wait, let me make sure I got this right. I don't trust my math. So this one has half of 30, so 15. And then this one has 15 and then 10, which is 25 plus another 15, which all together is 40. Okay. And then this one has 25 plus 5, which is 30. And then this one has 25 plus 15. Which is only 40. Shit. Hmm. Oh, no, wait. There, because I counted that one as 5. Which was, uh, it was actually 10. Now it's 5, and now that one's. Haha! -ha. <laughs> okay. I think that's right. 
Oh, we got a little vegetable stamps. Oh, crap. I knew I didn't trust my math. Wait, did I get... Generators will evenly split power if used twice. Each device must be powered exactly to its needs. Power all devices using every available power outlet. We have to use all of them. Well, balls. Um... Let's, let's go for some hints, just so we don't waste time. Every power station node is... Thank you. The computer has the most power sources attached, which is five. Oh my lord, okay. The computer, this one. One, two, it only has three right now, so... Let's figure this out. Five. Um... We do... Fifteen. Five. So 20, oh no, let go, let go, let go, another 15, no, let go, whew, can you do like that, would I give all 10 to this one, hmm, okay right now it has 15, 5, 15, 5, so, 40, 45, we'll try that, uh, 30 to, that's 15 to that one, let's give it another 15, which means this one gets 25, and, hmm, that won't work. Um, give this one 15, another 15, no, I like that one having just 15, there, that's good, 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 15, 25, that's 40, Uh, no, we just need 40, not 45. Look the other one. Okay. Uh, 25 and 5. You know, this is such a mess, I don't even want to rework it and make sure I'm right. 15, 15, uh, 25 plus 15, 25 over here plus another 5. Yeah, we'll call that good. Is that a mole stamp? Nice. Oh man, I got a D. Oh. Oh well. Oh man, I know this place is gonna be ripe with some gum. The place just isn't the same without the Daryls. Boxing up insects and being generally annoying. Yeah, that was never explained either why the hell they had insects in the diner. Um, all right, I guess we'll talk to the sheriff Hello, first. Hello, Sheriff Bog. Agent Heathers, what are you doing back in town? We got everything under control, and we don't need the FBI poking its... Calm down, Sheriff. I'm just here on personal leave. Hmm. Well, I keep my eye on tourists just the same as FBI agents. Uh... When I filed my report with the Bureau, I left out the part about you holding me at gunpoint. Come on, Tethers. I don't know how you boys do things in Washington, but out here, sometimes a man's got to do what he's got to do, even if it means drawing a gun on a fella. What? <laughs> I hope you've started to take Bjorn's cult seriously. I'm convinced that they're behind the disappearance of Isaac Davner. What? That's crazy. The Brotherhood of Scoggins are valued members of this community. I'm not gonna let them be harassed by anybody. FBI or no. Okay. 
I've heard that Isaac Davner is only one of the people to go missing around Scoggins. What can you tell me about the other disappearances? What can I tell you? Nothing. Sure, I got files on all the so-called missing persons, but I don't have to show them to any FBI man, especially one who's not here on official business. What? What exactly is a so-called missing person? Aren't they just missing people? I believe the hidden people have something to do with the incident at the factory. Agent Taylor, please. Just because we don't live in some fancy city doesn't mean you can treat us like gullible yokels. Well, you do have a cult, so... You've been just as helpful as always, Sheriff Bog. Glad to be a service, Agent Chathers. Enjoy your time in our town, and behave yourself. Agent Tethers. Ah! We need to talk outside. What did you need to talk about, Mrs. Davner? It's about Isaac. He's not back yet. He's supposed to be back. Uh-oh. I warn you, Glory, that attacking an FBI agent with a chainsaw is a federal offense. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just... You were going to stop the Brotherhood. I couldn't let you. Isaac needed to finish his journey. Bitch, you are crazy. Why are you worried about Isaac now? You're the one who helped the hidden... Helped them take him. You don't understand. It was the only way to save him. Save him? Isaac was... troubled. The Brotherhood offered us a way to cure him. Oh, really? How are the Brotherhood supposed to cure Isaac? Some kind of spiritual thing, I guess. Neither of us really understood it, but we were desperate. What was he troubled by? Do you have any idea where the hidden people would have taken Isaac? The hidden people aren't real. But I saw them taking Isaac away. It's the Brotherhood. They lied. What, do they dress up as two-foot-tall gnomes? What do you mean when you say the Brotherhood lied? Bjorn talked about finding peace by communing with forest spirits. I thought it was a... what's the word? A metaphor? No, a crock. But we'd try anything, and now Isaac's missing. In the lodge, I saw a photo of you and Isaac with the rest of the Brotherhood. They said they could help us, help Isaac. But they've been taking people. They took Isaac. It's all my fault. They took Isaac? Have you told the sheriff? The sheriff knows. He's working with them. I can't tell if she's like a conspiracy quack or legit. Look, um, Glory, I'd like to stay and talk, but You've got to get the missing person files. I, uh, that's actually a good idea. I'll make sure Sheriff Bog stays in the diner. Find out anything you can about Isaac. Wait, can we go back and... I finally got some help, more or less, in finding Isaac Davner. His wife, Glory, believes that the local cult is behind all the missing person cases in Scoggins. I'm going back to the sheriff's office to find out exactly what he's hiding in his files. Oh, Mr. Scroffman, you've been there the whole time. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Scroffman. Some more gum for me. Uh, I'm gonna go inside quick. Oh, can I not? No, I wanted to talk to that other guy. Um, that conversation between Glory and me was strictly confidential, you know. I know you'd like Isaac out of the way, but I'm going to find him. If you say so. Good conversation. Damn it. Alright. Must not have been important. Um. I guess we're going to break into the sheriff's station.
The station is locked tight. It looks like the sheriff's interest in puzzles extends to office security. What does that mean? With one cut, remove all obstructions to break down the sheriff's door. Oh, uh, one of these. Okay. All right. Well, let's try the classic. Uh... God damn it. This one. Nope, because it misses that board. Uh, this one. Nope, misses that board. This one. Mm. This is that chain. No, at least I don't miss. Okay, it has to start from here. No. This is that one. That kind of gets that one. Does that count? Ooh. Oh, it definitely doesn't get that one. Everything but this one is like grouped up on this half. No. Is that no, it's a different chain than that one because it's smaller. Oh, no. Come back here. That one. Oh, I'm still missing that chain. God damn it. The diagonal is the most effective way here. Might as well use some of our gum. The cut should start somewhere on the top half and end somewhere on the bottom half. Okay. That's not that helpful. Focus on cutting the boards. The chains are looped around them and won't hold the door. Hmm. Okay. So if that's the case, then... Like this one, maybe? Doesn't cut that one, but. Remove all obstructions. I mean, let's, I guess, try that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't think so. Shitty hint leading me astray. Let's use our last hint, why not? I already got that one. Nelson's cut will end on the second spot on the left of the bottom of the door. Second spot on the left, this one. So now we just gotta find which top one. Oh, I didn't even notice this teeny tiny board up here. Yeah, oh, shit. I guess that one, then. Taxpayers are not gonna be happy about this pay uh, puzzle. Nice, okay. There's that tiny board that I wasn't paying attention to. Oh. Oh, well. Aha! Now to find those missing persons files. After I collect some more crucial hint gum. It doesn't count it every time I pick it up. Help Nelson get to the other side of the room unseen. Drag the office furniture around to block the light sources to create a safe pass for him to walk through. Oh, okay. So... 
Can I not move this plant? I legit, okay, I can't move the tiny stuff. Interesting. Well then this, uh, this one, come down here. I'm guessing I can't jump couches. Kinda want this one down here maybe? I don't know, cause then... Uh, hmm. Am I actually supposed to make a path here, or...? <laughs> Oh, God, I got these couches stuck. How did this happen? Get over there. Mm, I like that there, actually. Mm, yes. Maybe I can get... No. I actually feel like that couch might be more useful... Like... Well, if I could get it there, but I don't think I can, I guess. Hmm. here and then around the back of this plant damn you stupid l-shaped couches well I mean that looks pretty nice if it wasn't blocking the door okay I'm not entirely sure how much path we need to be able to have. I had a path at one point. It wasn't the most attractive looking path though. I guess this has to be there, but then this doesn't fit anywhere, so that doesn't really make any sense. You like that, but then that doesn't, still doesn't fit anywhere. In reality, if I was an actual human being, I could just jump these couches. Blocking the light in the lower right corner of the room is the key. Yeah, I noticed. I know that's the key.
think there's any way for me to get that over there. This stupid couch is just always in the way. All right. Easy chair should be end up at the top right of the room. Yeah, that makes sense. Finally, okay, I figured it out. Done. Oh man. I knew that that's where that couch needed to go, I just couldn't get it for some reason. At least this one won't be an atrocious score. Oh my god, he's in here. How is he in here? Hello, Agent Tethers. Cripes! Sheriff Bog! How long have you been standing? Randall Scruffman told me you might be paying my office a visit. Scruffman! I'm sorry, it's just... I really needed to see how bad this missing person problem is. Everything I got about missing people is in those files. Uh, thanks. I don't know that that's permission for us to look at them. All that work for nothing. Well, on that note, we are going to go ahead and end it here for this week's puzzle pieces. Thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, next week, we'll look at those files and hopefully make some progress on looking into this case. Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you for the next episode of Puzzle Pieces with Puzzle Agent 2. Bye! Hmm.